Poor Liam. No one is treating this boy with the respect that he deserves. I'm so happy though that the author didn't make Liam to be the bad guy because that gets so freaking annoying after seeing the same plot being used in almost every manga and manhwa out there. Seriously, this is such a refreshing plot. But I still feel bad because Liam is taking care of a drunk Wu Young repeatedly and yet getting the third wheel feeling by the couple again. And yet Liam is still hangs out with Wu Young. I don't have this kind of patience. So my dear listeners, if your man doesn't have the patience like Liam, then he ain't the one. <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my social media at Fujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Fujoshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manhwa spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 44 and 45 of How to Catch an Alpha. I can't help but feel bad for Liam's scalp. <laughs> This poor guy is gonna start having bald spots from now on. Did you see the way Wu Young was pulling Liam's hair? Wu Young is really something. Oh mom, your son Liam almost got scalped by an angry and drunk Omega. And poor Liam, before meeting Wu Young, he usually plays with Uke's, considering all UKs and Omegas are the same. So just think of it this way. This might be some kind of retribution for all of Liam's past action. But I still stand on the wish that Liam deserves his own Omega. I don't think Wu Young deserves Liam. Even as a friend, Liam is too good. Um, but I really wish that the author will introduce an Omega for Liam. Um, then again, don't get me wrong, okay? I also think that Liam is just trying his best to be a good friend to Wu Young. Because seriously, Wu Young needs a good friend. Like, holy shit, he's batshit crazy. Now, going to our couple, I am amazed at the way Wu Young and Kyung Jo are both so possessive about each other that it's so adorable to the point where Wu Young is definitely spoiled. Um, let's not forget, he is born into a family where his dad and brother both dotted on him all of his life. Wu Young said in this chapter that even though he loves his dad and brother, he will give up all of his inheritance to Kyung Jo as a sign of how sorry he is for everything he did to Kyung Jo. So Wu Young's family, you guys raised the child for all of these years and you just got thrown away for some good Kyung Jo pee, pee action. <laughs> Kyung Jo also doesn't help Wu Young's personality because Kyung Jo is very soft when it comes to Wu Young as well. He's annoying, but I'm really glad that 
Wu Yong can fight for himself. He doesn't take shit from anyone, and he is loyal as f to Kyung Jo. But man, his drinking habits, he really needs to fix those drinking habits because he's like 21 or something in this story. So I kind of feel bad for Wu Young's kidney. Rest in peace. <laughs> man, Wu Young is probably one of the most ruthless Omegas that I've seen in Omega Versus. Like, Seriously, he absolutely said to Liam, how dare you do this in my house? And this is referring to Liam releasing his alpha pheromones in um, Wu Young's house. And for him, that was the start why he started pulling Liam's hair, but man, I really like Uke's like Wu Young. Like I love that he can stand up for himself. Such a queen. I love uh, Omegas and Uke's who are absolute queens. Like they're really something. And it just reminded me that the second hand embarrassment won't stop ever since chapter one in this series long live strong willful omegas who knows what they want because hurricane wu young has come down folks but he's not done yet <laughs> anyway let's get back to the story and let's talk about how the hell is the characters in this story keep going from korea to america back and forth like they're just going to the convenience store to grab a drink <laughs> like seriously a flight from the united states to korea is probably around 14 hours sometimes 18 so how the hell is this character is flying back and forth as if it doesn't even phase them like it's literally too much that it's i'm not gonna say it's impossible for any human to do this but man imagine how much these guys love each other for them to go this far for the person they love but i understand them Wu Young is annoyingly cute. I can't deal with this couple because I they are so in love and my single heart can only laugh in pain after reading these chapters. Man, people in love stink. They are so disgustingly in love. I'm mad <laughs> because I want what they have. They make people in a relationship feel single. I have to stop reading this because my single ass is getting so freaking lonely. And this series is making my expectations so damn high in a relationship. So if I keep going on like this, I'm gonna die single <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> but anyway. Kyung Jo, before you die from Wu Young's cuteness, I am sure I have already died a few chapters before you. <laughs> I absolutely love this author. Um, all the art style is so freaking good. And I am in love with the funny art style also. Like, wow. When the author does both of those things in their work, it's just so freaking amazing. And they didn't make the characters in this series weirdly cute. But man, while he's crying his eyes out, they made him so adorable, but so realistic because you'll see that little snot on his nose which is something that you don't read in other boys love mangas right and man i can't express how i'm freaking glad 
that we're seeing communication that we don't normally see in a lot of the boys love that we talk about in this channel especially in this genre normally throwing sex or simply ignoring problems and couples not talking about the their miscommunication is how most of the boys love that we are talking about in this channel goes but it's so nice that Wu Young and Kyung Jo are willing to meet each other more than halfway just to clear any kind of miscommunication that they have they like to talk talk things out and i absolutely love that about this series anyway i hope you enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys love that i'm interested in feel free to leave me a message and converse with me i'd love to hear back from you and also please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.sealedfujoshi.xyz also don't forget to support the author all the manhwa details can be found in the description below again thank you so much and i hope to see you next time <laughs>